There is a lot of joy in getting out there in the world and doing stuff, not yeah. just sitting around letting the world pass you by. I think when I've been least happy is the times I've just been sitting around the house. I would get very like just antsy. Oh, dude. Yeah, because I like to I, I like to go kayaking and I like to golf and I like to do those types of activities. Oh, and, yeah. Like she's well, wanting think, to get out of there. I think with it is just, they're just like with our with our wives sometimes. It's not that they don't want yeah. to do it's just, it's just it's more of a chore to go out there you know do it yeah and so when but when it, the it, habit they do forms, it they're like oh though. man this is actually right and then hopefully like the payback is like i feel good when i do this so i want to do it more yeah. just to get out there in the world it doesn't have to be those things but just like yeah get out there and do something a little different <laughs> Welcome back to Just Weirdly Blended. I'm Jesse. And I'm Tom. And we're in our new studio. We are in Can you guys studio. tell? I don't know if you're, yeah, I don't know if, <laughs> if it's very different, but. Uh, to you guys listening, can it, does it sound the same or different? Well, sorry for that fucked up intro, though. I didn't what? realize till we got it started that the uh, the control for the, the song at the beginning was down about halfway. Oh, that's so right. sorry if that faded in a little bit. Faded in. We're just trying, uh, we're just trying some new would things. Would it fade up? Yeah, it faded up about two seconds. Faded up, and high fade up. I realized I'm like, I can't, I can't hear this very well. And then it's just, you know, we had this nice little control. You feel like, you know, you're like an audio mixer. Oh, yeah, you feel DJ. There's a lot of little, there's like eight little switch yeah. things that you can push up and down. Tom's like this. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'm going to get one of those record spinner things. So my roommate, um, Anthony. Yeah. Um, he had a DJ setup because he, I guess he used to DJ yeah. little, little parties here and there, nice. um, nothing crazy, but he had, but it had like turntables uh -huh. and then it had the turntable. That's what it's called. Fuck. Yeah. And then it had the kind of like those button lights right there. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't see, it's like this board that has these yeah. little, you know, like little, I don't know how big those one by a little one by one button. They're yeah. small. But my friend's little DJ board had that, and he would. Sure. I remember he'd let us use it, so like I'd play with it. I remember Elena would, would play, play with it. That's cool. And that's what he's the one who introduced me to that, like, uh, um, like that electronic type music. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like German party music. <laughs> yeah. Like Skrillex. Yeah. That's I told you about the guy in college, right? That. Uh, you probably did. <clears throat> I used to, have to do rounds in a building, uh -huh. and his girlfriend worked with me. And so we went, we went uh, I went to her door to get her so we could go do the rounds of the building, keep everybody safe. We we're like, like the, the no power police of the hall. <laughs> and so I go and I knock on the door and she opens it and lights are all out and he's on the bed bouncing up and down, spinning this thing that's glowing and it's German techno music. Boom, 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 boom. So like, fast. Fucking A, bro. Can I come back and party with you later? Yeah. It was, it was pretty. That, that screw like stuff fun. was pretty cool because it was like. It wasn't quite as EDM as sure, uh, sure, yeah, as a little, like, little like more it, toned down. It's yeah, it wasn't quite, <clears throat> quite as techno, right? But like I would sure. hear after that, I would hear like technical stuff, mm -hmm. like techno stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, like some of it, I, I like it. Me and him went to like a, it's called like Live in Color. It okay. was like a rave over there in Seattle. Uh huh. It was right. It was in the conference. I think the convention center or something. It was right next to the stadium. Wow. Yeah, the convention center is nice, yeah. but uh, that isn't. That's more downtown, I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, it wasn't the convention. It, all I know it was in a, I think the Wamu there. Theater, the Wamu something. It's the oh. one. It's the, the. It's it's kind of between um, like Safeco Field. I call it yeah, Safeco Field. Right. Safeco yeah, Safeco Field right. and uh, where the Seahawks play, Quest Field. Yeah. Okay. The Link. Yeah. Right. Or I don't know. You know that's so annoying. It is annoying. Just pick a name. You know, Stop like Wrig Wrigley Field was Wrigley Field for like eight thousand years. What? Did, oh yeah. Just it's, leave it. You know what it's I mean? Like, I forget what it's called now. It's bullshit. It's Wrigley Field. It's Wrigley Field. It's fucking chewing gum. That's like for uh, baseball. Lambo. Yeah. See, Lambo right? Field, you can't change it. You can change the, who owns it, maybe. Right, right, but right. No, now it. Now you just sell the building. Like, it's not CNBC uh, Stadium. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> MSNBC. Right. <laughs> Folgers Stadium. <laughs> yeah. Because right, right now, right. I think the Cubs one is like something like. Uh, it's like something like that, like, like some bank weird. or something. It's all banks. 
Yeah, it's either so fi- By the way, SoFi. I don't know if I've shit on SoFi yet on so- our podcast. No, SoFi Stadium. That's what the Seahawks Fucking place is called. So- yeah, bullshit. SoFi Bank has stolen our money. We still are waiting for our money back. My wife got... God forbid. Well, she, like, the state, right? Like, she had a retirement fund, and, like, she moved jobs. She moves jobs, like, every year. Yeah. She moved jobs. Well, they cut her a check. They're like, well, you're not in this anymore. Here's the money. So she put it. She's like, oh, SoFi Bank. They had some stupid promotional thing. Yeah, it was like an online bank, right? Yeah. (laughs) But they're, like, real enough that they own a fucking stadium. But... So she put the money in there. It was, it, was, it was not like a little bit of money, you know. It was like a decent chunk. And she put it in there, and they were like. You struggling. Any money's a they, little money, they, too. They, they, like, scream fraud, man. They, <laughs> Dude, that's so annoying. They didn't even, like, really scream it. They just were like, nope, you can't have your money right now. And they won't even tell us why, really. Because and they so fucked up. They're trying to find that fucking. We up. went to, like, the state attorney general. We went to. Uh, the Better Business Bureau. We've written everybody. I'm about to go to my congressman. Good luck. Um, you need to go all the way up to the Supreme Court. I'm going. To Biden. I'm going. I'm going all the way to the top. To Biden. I'm going to the aliens for this one. No, it's just like, yeah. So they uh, they keep telling us like, no, nope, sorry, we have your money. That's it. See, that's the thing. Banks. It's like it's banks bowl, man. And all them other places. Yeah. They're always like. You know, they want their money right. or anything. Right. But as soon as they, they it's time it. to give them money, like an insurance nah, company, nah, 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 nah. they're like, nah. you know what? You don't have a right to it. We need yeah. you to like dance like a monkey and then, you know, yeah. jerk all of us off. And right. then Look, we'll maybe give you your take money. Take me back. Suck my dick. Maybe I'll give you your money back. No, uh, um, you use teeth. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You touch me with one of your uh, molars. Dude, very deep, very that, big dick. That's the sad thing about big. S and D would be dick. tough. Yeah, I, I tell you, it's uh, it's fun. Like I was it's thinking, fun. yeah, it is. It's super fun blowing a guy behind the bank. <laughs> um, I was talking about or thinking about like, what if I just took like grands off of somebody and was like, I'm not gonna give it back. Yeah. And then the attorney general was like, Hey, hey. and I was just like, ah, I reviewed the file. I'm not giving the money back right now. Sorry, there was and something like, there. Man, like the cops would be in my house. Oh, I'd yeah. go to jail Dude. instantly. Dude, it's bullshit. There's no. It's not like a game. You know, they would just come and arrest me and take me away and be like, "You stole somebody's money." Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. fucking hate SoFi. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. Do, I wouldn't go to SoFi just knowing what. Weren't, I know, weren't they experience. in trouble for something? Oh, they probably were in trouble for not giving people money. <laughs> I'm guessing. Like, you know, I've. Just, I don't know. I have I'm direct deposit. Because I'm telling you, like, this is my story. Maybe other people have stories and they're like, SoFi is the best. They're so great. They're out of this world. They gave me a blowjob. They're amazing. But in my experience, <laughs> if you want your money to not show up, SoFi is a great bank to use. It's a good savings. They account. had to pay for that stadium name somehow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is, SoFi. I think it's still SoFi. The thing that pisses me off, too, man, like we pay a a tax in Washington State to pay for that stadium, right? We built that stadium all across the state. They're like, we want the Seahawks here, which is cool. So we're still paying that. But we still are paying for a building in Seattle. I live in Kennewick. If you guys don't know where that is, get a map out. Look at it. We're like three hours away. Yeah, we're a hot minute. We are. Yeah, we're a hop, skip, and a jump at least <laughs> Easy. from Seattle. That is kind of fucked up. And we're paying for it. I'm like, I want that stadium to be named the Taxpayers of Washington Stadium. I don't want it to be like we built it. They can pay for a name on it. You Taxpayers know I mean? Stadium. Yeah, Taxpayers Stadium. Washington Citizen Stadium. <laughs> Citizens, you know. Oh well, no, there is a citizens park. <laughs> That's fucking bank, man. Citizens, citizens park. bank. Um, I think it's the pirates, or I don't know what <laughs> programming is, but they're like citizens park or something. That's kind of funny, right? <laughs> pirates with citizens is the name of the. Yeah. Are they citizens of anything? Like pirates are kind of anti citizenship, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, they're at, they're just about like, themselves. Yeah, and civilization. They're over a bunch there of narcissists. And, and like hey, and then the pirates come and just fuck them up. Right. That's what pirates do. No, how's your week been? (laughs) My week's been incredible. This fucking guy, he got like three days of school left. I got three days left. But then I've I've got, so I got out of jury duty this week. We called in. So we went to Portland over the weekend. Yep. Uh, Shout out to Shane Gillis. Yeah. Shane, you were awesome. (laughs) You were great. Uh, He's funny as hell, man. Shane Gillis is 
fantastic. So we went and saw his show at some giant theater. I forget what it was called. Five something. Oh, it was right. like um, um, performance arts center. I don't know. It was huge, gigantic. I did not expect it to be so big. I was kind of thinking we were going to do like the little handshake meet and greet at the end. Not even close. Not even like Shane Gillis has exploded onto the scene. Oh, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, that's like he was like, yeah. All right, that's my time. I gotta go. He's way too big for. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome though. He's funny as hell, and I was so happy because you know it's like you just never know. Like you watch a special or something, and like his special was not that long ago. So I was thinking like we're gonna hear the same jokes. You know, and I thought that because <laughs> one of his jokes in the beginning uh-huh. I was like kind of oh, similar. Kind of, I heard this, but then it it was. But different. it wasn't yeah, like everything yeah. that he said. It's like so. It's like in the same vein of the things that he said before, but I've never heard any of the content. And his stories are always funny. He's a good storyteller. He and Theo Vaughn, we were listening to Theo Vaughn all the way over. I'm, I'm trying. I'm like, he's, he's great. I've been reflecting on me and podcasting. And I'm like, I laugh too much at the dumb shit I say out of nervousness. Oh, yeah. Like every second, I'm like, hey, Jesse, <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like so stupid. I'm like, I'm trying so hard today to not laugh. It's good to laugh. Don't get me wrong. I'm like, no, it's good to <laughs> laugh, but like giggling like a fucking idiot. No, it, it's time. it's really hard because gonna... like I don't know. We both will say you know stupid shit all the time, but then, and then like afterwards, as we're like editing, we'll catch some of the other things we've said like through yeah. the podcast that we might not really listen to, and so we'll hear it a certain way. And we right, yeah, we, like we, why am I laughing like a fucking hyena? <laughs> yeah, we said the whole there, thing. Wow. So I'm trying to like I'm listening to their deliveries, you know. And there's so many guys like Nabar Gotz, he's another guy that I like a lot and his delivery. And like they don't laugh at themselves the whole time they're talking. No. They got it on lock. They're not nervous. That, it, you they know? just do it. I mean, they're probably nervous, but they're not like giggling like a schoolgirl <laughs> over there. It was like, hey Jesse, I'm gonna say something. <laughs> and then my dumbass face, <laughs> please just don't watch us, just listen to us because no. I I laugh. And Don't let Ryan Reynolds out here fool you. <laughs> I'm a beautiful man. That's <laughs> undeniable. But when I look at myself and my bottom jaw is just wide open and I'm looking at you like I'm never going to close my mouth again, pisses me off every fucking time. It's insane. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Just, I'm, I'm jaw dropper. Right <laughs> <I'm just like, laughs> <laughs> and I do it for like eight minutes. It drives well, me nuts. I so s- it's just that delivery. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like there, I'm not a comedian. I'm not funny. I get it. But I want to be funnier. Well, I think no, there's work th- that can be done. You're funny. I think you know? there's just delivery. It's right. just a way to deliver exactly. and you say just, things. You just got to learn to like, yeah, like, you know. I feel like we're funny. It's just sometimes <laughs> we'll either talk over each other. Yeah. Well, that's normal, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, podcasts, people want to hear a conversation. They want to hear us back and forth in it. They don't want to hear us just like your turn like we're not <laughs> handing off the stick here like the the magic talking stick you know what i mean yeah so there's this um podcast also i listen to i i, I jump between um the basement yard mm-hmm. bad friends um i would listen to low Prior podcast yeah and then uh i started listening to theo vaughn yeah just i think reason. i might be on theo vaughn for a hot minute he's pretty fucking hysterical yeah so theo vaughn i started because I, I i've kind of caught up with bad friends uh-huh. like i started because oh, okay. when okay. i started a podcast like that, oh, that yeah. was new like theo vaughn i started it he's been around for forever like, right we're all, i'm on 2017 right now and yeah i skipped 2016 and you're in <laughs> i started them off i started uh tom and Tom off. Um, yeah, just the where I was already. Point. Yeah. <laughs> so no, from where fine. I started, that's where that's the. Yeah, that's those. kind of the beauty podcast. You can kind of listen to them where wherever. Yeah, it's not like you know, it's like a standalone. Yeah, but it's just episode. it's just crazy because it's like so I'll start from the very beginning so mm-hmm. to hear all that stuff. But man, they're so funny. Yeah, we're the podcast that talks about other podcasts. That's, yeah, there's okay. something special about that, you know. But so so in those podcasts, <laughs> like um, the ones with when they actually have someone. Yeah, like bad friends or um, the basement yard, the banter. Sometimes they'll argue with each other. <laughs> yeah, and then I, it makes me laugh because you and I, like, we we don't really argue with each other. Sure, we see. Like, are I, you we, saying they like flat out argue? Like they're they're getting in it? They'll they'll argue. Not it. It does sound like it because, but they're but friends. Like funny. the basement yard, they're hilarious because yeah. it's like fuck you, bitch. You're such gotcha. a bitch. Like, 
No, you're fucking dumb. Like this, this. And that. I did the, do that to you yesterday. By mistake. That was funny though, dude. My fucking phone. <laughs> we call him because mm. so we went golfing. We did. We were about to go golfing. I was in my driveway and my phone rang. But my phone's been doing this thing, and I restarted it, so maybe it's better now. But my phone's been doing this thing where if someone will call, and instead of it showing like the green and the red, it just goes black. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Like, I can't answer the phone I can't call. push. I can't swipe up. I can't do anything. So I hit the little side button because on, you know, Samsung, usually that turns the screen on. Mm -hmm. But all that does is turn the screen off. And then the phone call goes away. So then I got to swipe real quick, find the spot to get into it so I can either answer or deny a phone call. <laughs> so somehow, in the midst of trying to do all this and screaming profanities like a madman, <laughs> I answered it. Yeah, like you fucking cocksucker piece of shit, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he's and like you stupid bitch, you stupid bitch. I fucking hate your ass. And like, oh my god, all of a sudden I hear Alicia like Jesus. I'm like, oh, <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? No, yeah, my wife she was just so um, yeah. Around. That's uh, that's I, I rage a little bit at the phone. Oh, but dude. it's just like, man, like this is not cheap. A phone is like, you know, a thousand freaking dollars. Like every other week, it feels like. Right. And so I'm like, you know, it shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be blacking out on me when a phone call is coming. And that's a telephone. It's yeah. like, at its essence, the main purpose of this thing is to take and make phone calls. That's it. That's it. You have that's one what job. it is for. No, I'm, so I, I work in tech. Yeah. And I have, I always have issues with, for whatever, for my phones. Yeah. Like, um, my Google phone, it'll do something similar. You have to a that. Google phone still? Is that right? Yeah, pick Google the Pixel. Google Pixel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like it. Yeah, and this is I, a Samsung. Don't, Samsung don't get me wrong. Are great. I, don't get me. Yeah. So you know what? I know the only like, there's people who love their you know iPhones. Yeah. But right. the difference between like, because now Google has their phone. Yeah. And then, um, like Samsung has their phone. Everybody's, yeah, whatever. Everybody's, everybody's got, got their phone. So but they all got use, their phone. But they, they all use give the phone Android. To you. Like yeah. a, an Android OS, and to me that everything seems the same. It is the same. How different can it be? Software I had a Samsung, software, right? and it just seemed the same as my Google. There's, right. I thought maybe having a Google Pixel would be. It's like different. with Windows it's on a different yeah, yeah. computer, right? It's like, like Windows, and then Windows had you know so Windows had their own phone for a minute. They had a Windows phone. Well, Microsoft, right? Yeah, Who does had Microsoft a, own? Who don't they own? Like, they own what's the your what's your phone? Your your phone's a Google. Google. Yeah, they're not. That's Google not owns everyone. Yeah, Google. Yeah, Microsoft's probably a subsidiary of Google. Google's, Google's like Disney. Google is always listening. Dis Google's terrifying, dude. It's crazy. So there is this car, um, and I don't know if it was when we were all in Oregon or what, but I was with Alicia. Yeah, and I saw this car, and it's called a Rivian or something. Oh yeah, yeah, Rivian. Yeah, right. It's an electric. Yeah, I was like, oh look, competitor to Tesla. And so they're kind of cool looking. It was cool looking. It is. Yeah. It's a cool looking like SUV. Yeah, the Rivian Jeep truck is. actually, I think, is uh, selling a little better than the uh, Tesla well, truck, the Cyber truck. Let's let's uh, let's slow calling the Tesla truck a, a truck. <laughs> it's a Cyber truck. It's like an SUV. It's uh, it's interesting. They, they My, have one rolling around here in the city. They, I saw a truckload coming in. They yeah. look like freaking military yeah. vehicles. Yeah, Alicia's seen the truckload, yeah. but we just like uh, no, there's one driving around. Yeah, yeah, we just seen one. My uh, cousin's husband was gonna buy one, but uh, the dual motor shit for actual like truck work didn't work out, so they backed off. So it's like a single motor somehow. I don't, I don't really know. He's it's super ugly. into it. The Rivian one looks good. The Rivian one looks like a truck. But yeah, this is this is what Tom was going back to. Tom saying Google listens. Yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, the Rivian. You know, I I, don't, I actually didn't. There. Well, I knew yeah. it was a Rivian. Yeah. But I didn't. You know, actually, I didn't know it was an electric car. To be honest. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I'm on my phone. Was it yesterday? And this was like a day later after I said it or something. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, there's Rivian an ad for yeah. Rivian. I'm like, what the fuck? And you didn't Google search it, nothing, nothing like that. You just said it one time. I just said it. Just said it. And I usually keep my phone on like. You know, I try to like don't share data. You know, like you know. Yeah, it I, doesn't matter. It doesn't no, matter. No, it's it bullshit. Listens. It listens anyway. So I started like, yeah, whatever. Right. But yeah, so Google's listening. They're like gods all the time. 
They're, yeah. They're the tech god but now. The good thing is they are uh they're just they're they're decent human beings. They would never misuse the data for any purpose. So no, that's no, that's good. Never. That's good. I feel very secure. I'm gonna get me a Rivian now, apparently. Yeah. I've seen the trucks, they look they're, they're not nice. bad. They're, not, they're really not bad. They kinda I don't know. They're like I've seen them where they have the, the roof rack on the back and I'm just like that's kind of cool. I don't know what you'd put back there. Like I said, one of my techs has short. a Tesla, and that thing has, yeah, it goes zero to sixty in like two two, two seconds. milliseconds. Yeah, it's nuts. They just it's like a golf cart. It's like a big golf cart that goes on the street. That's pretty much what it is. It's just, yeah. I mean, they yeah, yeah. they yeah. If you you can't. So the reason that they're taking muscle cars and making them electric now is because you just you can't beat them off the block. You know, it's well, it's an, an, you it's know, it's an electric. Like you so take your foot off the brake, man, and it's just nothing but throttle. You're, right. just, you're just flying down the road. So, Can you imagine a muscle car? You hit the, you're hitting the gas, you know, because you like hearing that rumble. The and all you hear is me. So actually, uh, Dodge. Boring. I don't know how true it is, but like I like the Challenger because right. we had one for five minutes. Yeah, and. Uh, they apparently were gonna, like they were designing these like echo chambers. Uh-huh. So as the air flows through, it like it mimics get... that rattle, that mm. that roar of the the car. Yeah, so, that's like eating a sugar free cookie. Yeah, right. It's not the same. Right, it might taste. It's the like same. a monkey fruit car. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah, as good, but yeah. it'll do. Yeah, yeah it'll so, do. But I mean, they're just like the, their point was like the whole point of a muscle car was like you can blow somebody off. The blocks, you know, the yeah, block, yeah. right? And then uh, now you can't do it because Tesla is super quiet, but it's like me, and, and it just gets ahead of everybody. I was well, so like so. I never knew nothing about Teslas, and then like one of my technicians, I was going to do my uh, site visits, and he had his, and so I was like, "Well, let's go!" And yeah. I, I was really impressed by it; it was really cool. And his is very sporty looking, and but it, the quickness really, I was like, "Yeah, man." He's like driving, but you can yeah, feel, you can feel it. I was like, "What the hell? Is, hey, this is electric." Yeah. But I, you know, it's crazy. Is um, my last job, we went to Re- we'd go to Reno because our um, office was there, like the corporate office, uh-huh. and so we'd have our IT meeting, like annual IT meeting there, with all the techs, and they would take us to do like the team building events and mm-hmm. stuff. They would just, it was cool. It was fun. It was like a lot of fun, and we went to this goat cart place. And it was all the go karts were electric, uh huh, and they were so they were fucking fast. That's cool. They were fast as shit. That's nice. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. They, the it gas was ones really are kind cool. of pain. It was yeah. indoor. It was an indoor racetrack. That that way, there's no fumes. You're not killing yourself. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. yeah. And you just you hit the guy and you just <laughs> right <laughs> like, like Mario oh, Kart. Shit. Nice. That's how it felt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. It was cool. cool. I thought you said goat carts at first. I probably, I sound like I say goat carts. <laughs> I was like, they're goat carts. Goat carts. Bad. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, goat power. They're very slow. They're very slow. 34 but, uh, goat powered engine. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go like three miles per hour. It's going to be pretty cool. Right. Stop eating um, grass. <laughs> yeah. Man, I tell you, that Portland though, I was pretty, I was pretty happy with Portland. Mm-hmm. Portland's got a bad rap being pretty dirty. A L- little bit of a urine smell. It does. But it, um, it just. Any very, downtown, though, I very think. Very pretty. I, you know, I still love downtowns. I didn't oh. realize how much I like it anymore. You know, as I get older, I'm like, you know, as a kid, of course, I wanted to live in downtown, big city, be the cool city guy. Yeah. Then I realized it's not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I would if I was single, maybe. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. But like with a family, no. No oh, way. God, can you imagine? But uh, it was very cool to be downtown. Just like in the heart of a city. And, you know, Portland's not a huge city, but it's like big enough. Yeah. And uh, just like feeling that that vibe, that life. Yeah, that's you know, what I was just going to say. You got trams going around. And trans going you know, around. You got, the, you got everybody yeah, out there. Yeah, you got the free range Portlanders just popping up here and there. And, you know, it's cool. Like, everyone's pretty cool, you know. Yeah. It's not like, you know, they're in their own world or right. they're, no one's, you know, you, you'll hear just like any other big city. Someone right. Just, randomly screaming and yelling on the corner right oh man <laughs> fuck you bitch you fucking hit me with your car you motherfucker fuck you bitch and they're like wow this yeah. is what it's like <laughs> yeah we're leaving the hotel city. and you hear yeah, that's what you pretty much hear and it's then, pretty great every big city i've ever been and in. then he rides away in his tesla yeah <laughs> the coolest thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> the coolest thing i ever heard was uh this guy uh he was driving a limo in seattle and he just blasted his horn at this girl. She's crossing the crosswalk. She didn't blink. She didn't flinch. 
she just middle fingered the guy and kept walking. Dude, that's it was tight. the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I I've kind of fell in love in that moment. It's like, dude, I don't know who you are, but I love she, you. She she moved. She was out of my life in a flash. So I was just like whoever Reminds you me are. Of a Michael Jackson song. She's amazing. She's she was, out she of was my a life. true spirit animal. She was pretty amazing. That's pretty impressive. Though. She just yeah. I don't know if she had like earbuds in or what, but she's just like fuck this man. She's like, boom. Because when I. Like I don't, I'm not like a screamer when yeah. I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're you're quiet. I see. I'm a screamer when um, behind closed doors. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know, you'll you'll startle. Yeah. To not even do that, to just be like. Yeah. Right. Like that's. She didn't even flinch. She didn't even bro, like her shoulders. Whoever ends even, up with her, good luck. Yeah, she's a she's, she's running fire, this shit. That's what they call it. Well, most women spit fire. run the fire, run the, run, run, the, fire. run the relationship. Again. <laughs> they run the fire. That's a new, the coined term. Uh, yeah, man, it was the coolest thing I think I saw. And you guys probably saw it too. I think we were talking about it. We were eating breakfast mm -hmm. at this, uh, what was it called? Grits, grits and gravy, grits baby. and gravy, grits and gravy. It's, it's apparently famous. Lots of people have been there. Their yeah, photos yeah. are on the wall. Lawrence Fishburne's eating there. Yeah. His photo was on the wall. Other guys I didn't really recognize, but yeah, I recognized a few because there was um, a couple some NBA athletes, players. Yeah, some athletes yeah. have eaten there, but it's very cool. It's downtown. It's like point three miles away from the hotel. Very yeah, nice. We walk, chill, walk down. Like one, we had to veer left once, and then yeah. we were just walked straight, and we were there, and I, we were just sitting there getting ready to eat. We had our little coffees. Had some waters just sitting at the table, and we look over, and this majestic lion of a man just wakes up on the oh, sidewalk. See, I didn't get to see it because it was my back was to man, that. Let me tell you, I saw a genie <laughs> levitate out of a bag. That's so crazy. And he just stood there and he looked at his rain and he, he like stretched and yawned, just like a lion. Just living life. Just living life, man. Like everywhere he looked. What if he found out, like, he's just. He's like super rich. He's like a he's billionaire. He's not actually homeless. He's he just, owns the whole damn building. Just he's just like, I just wants to he's, just, he's, just, he's just camping. That's all. Uh, he, uh, yeah, man, he was just standing in this bag for a minute. And I was looking. It was almost like Mary Poppins or something. Like, <laughs> he's just standing. It looked like he was standing behind his bag. And after he stretches and like scratches his belly a little bit and throws that mane around. He stepped out of it and it just looked, I mean, that moment was pretty fucking funny because it's just like, he just looked like, what else do you have in that bag? You know, like everything like, it, and it was a sleeping bag. I understand his tent, but I mean, it was just like, I'm telling you these free range Portlanders, man, they're, they're popping right. up everywhere. They really are. You're eating like more food than a human should consume. And like, then they guy on fentanyl walks by and you feel a little bad i kind of wanted to give him I'm some not, of my food look i'm not gonna lie but so we ate outside because it was pretty packed um in there and so you know yeah we don't want to get hangry and right it just i it's already i already feel weird because yeah. I, I don't know i just always f have that feeling like i'm not i don't want to eat in front of someone oh you know, uh, i don't, I don't like eating in front of people so yeah. like who aren't eating so i always have this like <laughs> Yeah, I got like you. hesitation, but luckily, <laughs> I, I don't. Luckily, my back was fuck. somewhere. <laughs> no, nah. because even when my dogs stare at me, and that, that shit, it makes you feel weird. I'm like guys, uh, go no, away. I, I have a human Stop right to eat. Clearly, because that's the, <laughs> the cool thing I seen on yeah. that same building was the guy freaking all the way in the corner pressure washing the thing, dude. He's just hanging uh, off this thing. He was on like the Hyatt or something. I forget what hotel. Yeah, it was, it was. a Marriott. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, Marriott. They were probably owned by and the same it was people. Like, I mean, how many floors do you think that that building had? Like sixteen, maybe. Probably something, something like that. Something like that. And he just is like scaling over the edge, puts <laughs> his feet on the little butt holder, and there's I, that's it. I, I don't even know how to describe it. There was like a board on a rope. And you know, he stepped over the edge onto that board. I'm sure he had a harness on. How much? Oh, he had a but harness. Like, no, he was just walking down it. I don't just know. Just holding man. one hand. He just looked like he would have done it, you know? Um, That's a lot of trust. That's a lot of trust. Yeah. In that and rope. he had, he had a, the, like, the pressure washer in his hand, too. God, that. So he's blasting himself. Hey, in the face. Jerry, I need a tip. It broke. It fell off. Right. Throw me one down. <laughs> Four. Those things fall <laughs> towards the ground. But I mean, like, you know, have you pressure washed something? Oh, the, yeah. The backsplash that comes off that thing. And it was like corrugated 
concrete is what it looked like. Yeah. So as he's pressure washing it, you know, some of that was like flying right back in his face. He got bird shit and stuff Ugh. just flying in your mouth <laughs> and he's pressure washing the whole damn building. That was crazy. Yeah. The window washer thing creeps me out too, though. Yeah. Can man. you imagine being like up like a those hundred story buildings oh, yeah. and you're out there mm. on a little thing that just man every <laughs> just every time i ever yeah no they have that cool movement they do like s shapes it's nuts so that's kind of cool because like right? you, you see in the movies like you're in the, the from the people in the office's point of view yeah they you're looking at them like Look. yeah that would be a trip that would be a trip if yeah. i'm sitting there trying to work I'm right and, and this guy's just sitting there his dick's just plastered plus, yeah, plus that'd against be the my window part, when his head's like on the window above and you just see his crotch right there <laughs> yeah in your office window like bro it's your friend uh, so he shows it like what if you're on the 93rd floor and you just see this guy's feet start dangling down <laughs> in your window and he starts swinging back and forth you know you're like yeah i mean like you know the wind up there is probably pretty nuts dude and you're like man oh i could not do that <laughs> do you think I'm, they get paid good no fuck no in you, this country no you don't think they, the windows washer like that no. on sky nah, they you're get a maintenance paid. guy i mean yeah you probably get good benefits and stuff that'd be you better get like, you, good you, life insurance look in a big city you, you make enough that you can own a nice little home in a shit neighborhood you know like i think they probably make decent but you know are they raking it in you don't enough think you don't think like 100 grand easy maybe but in new york oh yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah Seattle, i think they, they same. paid decent it's just like decent for a city is different than decent for here you like know for I mean? here that'd be great for here you're like oh wow we have no skyscrapers we have none we have we have the hapo we do building have, that's glass i think that's the tallest the, building we have is maybe seven floors and that's like the federal building no uh, there's like, another building it's the um it's <laughs> It's a, a hospital. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. It's a it's parking garage, I think. Cracked me up. I was looking out towards Pasco, our neighbor city across the river, and uh I saw this like beautiful tower I had never seen before. Mm -hmm. I was like, Whoa, what's going on in Pasco? And then we drive over there eventually and I'm like, it's not a building at all. It's at the stadium. We have a little like um what do you call it? Uh it's like a not a pro baseball team. The, the yeah, yeah, we have like a, a they're like an A. There you go. They're like yeah. a triple A team, but AAA they're like team. lower for so the Angels. Like, right. Yeah. And uh, but they built like this big screen but for the sun across the river. It almost looks like a little building, oh. like a the tower building. Is it and the one I that's on the that, light? Yeah, it's like white. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but I thought sun. it was a building, and it's oh. like that's how not tall our buildings are. I thought that was is that like from Kennewick? A new tower you can see. Up. Yeah, like our water towers are probably taller. I think our yeah, tallest, tallest building is one of those grain elevators down by the river. That thing's freaking massive. Well, I know like the the parking garage and shit at the seriously at, at Cadillac. Cadillac owns Richland now, one of our local Providence hospitals, <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, they. Uh, that thing is massive now. Well, so is Trios. Yeah. Over here. But it's Trios is like a ghost hospital, though. Yeah, it's getting better, I think. They sold out. <laughs> Bunch of sellouts. Yeah, Who they're not working in healthcare for the I art think anymore. Stupid. Yeah. I work in healthcare. I can say healthcare that. Is, healthcare is a good thing. Just the way we do it might be a little a little funny, but... Yeah? Yeah, man. No, it's uh, that was like a ton of fun. I I was like... I, I don't know. I felt so good... I still feel really good. It's I'm like a, riding the high, you know. It, what I no, mean? yeah, being downtown, like for me, when I'm at yeah. the beach or downtown, yeah. like, there's just like this a feeling. Different I get. vibe, you know. Like, like, yeah, like the beach yeah. for me, I feel like I could live at a beach. Yeah. Like, but I could live there. I could be homeless at a beach, and I'd be probably pretty okay. Sure, that's why there's so many homeless people there. It just, just like, and just I've said that before. Like you're actually, at the beach, you but, know. I don't know if I said that on a podcast we've published or not. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple missed. There've been a couple that we did not release to the world. Yeah, but uh, missed yeah. out. I know. Cade, Cade reached out. He was like, "What know, happened?" <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, Cade. no, no. He he gave, he was like, you know, thankful about a shout. You know, we oh, shouted yeah, him out. Of course, of I'm course. Like, oh, yeah, man. Cade, anytime, anytime. And uh, he. And I was like, and I said to him, I was like, yeah, man, the last 10 minutes, I don't know what the hell happened with that. Yeah, man, last week, the, sorry. And that was just the audio. We told you guys, though, I mean, straight up, I think we even named it. You know, and we're we're coming live from a new uh, 
Live from the studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. SoFi Stadium. <laughs> That's where we came from. <laughs> they were shit. They were bad. So we're here now. No, we're at my house now. I, yeah, SoFi, I wish you'd sue me, bro. I would counter sue for my thousands you know a lawyer and you I, know a prosecutor I do. I do i do yeah shout out brooke yeah i'll come at you i got my whole team brooke we're hiring you yeah i'm i'm, I'm on this board with this now too i'll be yeah. a researcher we're coming for what, you paralegal is that what they do yeah. paralegals yeah. are just researchers yeah right? right right researcher paper filer those types of God, things that's so much more work get the legal brief ready a lawyer makes hella money yeah actually you know what i'm not even gonna lie i would be I'd rather do the paralegal. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to be a lawyer and talk to someone. Unless I was in the South. If you're in the South no. to be a lawyer, tall, tiny town, you know. If you're in the South and you're a lawyer, you better talk like that Australian guy's. Uh, it, that's what I'm south. saying. Yeah. What? Oh, I thought it was. Oh, I thought I thought the camera was fucking up. Oh, that'd be start. scary. I was like, fuck. But no, that you know how he has that southern accent yeah foghorn leghorn that's what you gotta be you gotta be I'll that say, i'll say i'll say well you're guilty that's <laughs> yeah. what you have to do i would love that as a judge yeah. i would be visibly you could see it on my face yeah. if that guy came up oh i'd be like oh my god i love it i'm ready for this <laughs> i said order in this court <laughs> yeah like no i just i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah. say no to that but the trouble <laughs> is every court case would be racist as hell that'd be the troubling part it's just so racist every guy on it trial was would black. be black yeah and all they'd say is look at him yada the man is guilty <laughs> i know that the other guy would be like yada clearly he's slightly guilty but we need to look at the <laughs> facts just in see this him, case like, put his head down shake like fuck yeah god i'd hire foghorn <laughs> foghorn fucking leghorn again <laughs> Yeah, I think Foghorn is actually a judge now, though. He's a circuit court judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, order in my courtroom. <laughs> I That's love, all that happens. I love Foghorn Lankhorn. He's great. And that little chicken hawk that mm-hmm. wanted to fuck up people. Yeah, he had, man. like, the sort man syndrome. So the funny thing, uh, if you want, if you listen to Bob and Tom, not watch him, I guess, but listen to Bob and Tom, uh, Josh Arnold used to work. He was, talks about working at a... Uh, at a uh, uh, <laughs> fuck brain. Uh, working at a like a studio. Like no, it was like a uh, park, a theme park. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah. it was based on like, those characters. Oh. So he, he was. I think he said he was Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> and he told a story that one time he and the guy that was like the smaller they traded suits. <laughs> so the guy was way smaller, and he had to be <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn. Josh Arnold was trying to fit into this like tiny ass bird suit and they almost got fired over they think he said it was a good story good story oh josh arnold's hell he's so hilarious. funny i'd love to see josh arnold live i think he'd be a hoot oh yeah to listen to he, he's funny for anybody that doesn't know who he is i would look him up but he kind of looks up, like yeah. the the um owner from the toy barn yeah in, in toy story the, like they mentioned that that's who he uh, looks in like one of the episodes really. and like he really does but he's so <laughs> freaking funny yeah he's so he just has he's got the voice you know, he's 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 like the Theo Vaughn or like any of these guys that are really good at their craft. He's just got that like that. Mo- he's got they deliver in a way the delivery yeah. is there. Yeah. You know, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, um, hey, damn, but we took the girl like my wife went golfing for the first time. The first time she did pretty, pretty good. I yeah, would say yeah, I, I was I was like, yeah, there was impressed. I was telling her yesterday, I was like, yeah, there was a, she drove, she did a, she was, you know, obviously she hasn't, she's never golfed. Right. We, we hit some balls in the beginning, you know, at the range, but she, um, she got up there and one, I forget what hole it was, but she fucking, she, I, I was watching her and then I was like, okay, her form looks really good. I was thinking in my head and I was going to yeah. tell her that, but then I just, I'll just keep my mouth shut. And then she hits it and she fucking Hit the it. fuck out of she it. She nailed it. And I was like, I was pumped for her. I was yeah. so pumped. It was cool. It feels good when things go right. Yeah. I got a little pissed at one point, but I, I pulled it back together. It happens. It's Lost cold. one ball. Not like this idiot. You guys want to see a little video? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's show a little video here. This guy. This this had me feeling some type of way. I am now hang not. tight. We got a little bit of a technical difficulty here. <clears throat> That screen's black. Oh, did we not set that back up? What? Remember we had to set the camera up? Like where it would know? Mm. No. We're 
We're, we're not connected. Oh, I don't know. If, did we actually attach that? What's that? Sorry, guys. This is gonna be. This is gonna be great. Hang on. We we suck. You know what I'm saying? It's not connecting. Like it doesn't recognize this as the output device. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this this will make you feel some type of way. Oh right. man, look at that tech guy. That's what I do. Yeah. I okay. Guess. I wonder if you can just. Is there a way to make this bigger though? I don't know. It's a. Uh, it's like a short, so it's in a f different format. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. So you guys are gonna see. So just pay attention to this guy. I wonder, like, if we can. I don't know. I don't want to screw anything yeah, up. Yeah, we're there. So watch this and let us know what you think, because I kind of want to shoot this guy in the face. Oh, oh man, that pissed me off so bad. <laughs> They're laughing. Why are you man. laughing? Like, I feel for this guy. This guy's a douche. That was a problem. I think this the guy, guy I feel bad for because he was in the shot the whole time. He knew and instantly you can see it on his face. He's like, oh, fuck. He's covering because he's like, he's laughing. Anybody would. It's an awkward moment. That, do you think maybe that this guy's shocked too? Sorry, I called you a douche. You're maybe not a douche. Maybe you're shocked too. Everyone's just like, what the hell? I would, um, By the way, if your buddy comes out in half shin high white socks to go golfing, if he looks like a 1983 tennis player, you're probably going to have some fucked up greens. That's he looks all like I'm my PE coach. He looks like Just my dad a... when he used to go for runs. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> He's wearing his new balances. He looks like, like, yeah, he looks like, again, the 1980s. You know what's back. crazy? Hmm. Um, is he's white right yeah that's not the crazy part the crazy part is i can tell that his thighs are way wider oh yeah you see that yeah it looks look a lot that. brighter look at it looks that like the, his tan line oh i lost the mouse pointer because it's so white look at that man <laughs> no but that's see like so and look for at the folks listening to us too. this isn't like a trash yeah. course you know for those audio listeners this guy there he goes to put a a shot. He hit, he puts it, but he he hits it really hard. Yeah. Actually, and look, so we it's all a terrible know the rage of, yeah, a, yeah. of a missed putt. But. So he gets mad, and then he starts like just swinging, like like he's act, he's like taking an axe to he's the axing field. axing. He so he makes a, green. a a divot. That's a I would say it's a good size basketball. Well, size I didn't even hole. realize. I didn't realize. Like watching, if we go like clip by clip, one, two, three, four. Look at that. Different different divots inside of there. Look at that, man. And that one he got a couple times right there. Yeah. And it comes it in like this. It's a cock and balls in the ground right there. That's <laughs> right, right. pretty. Right. It rough. looks like a little mountain. There's a little spooge right there. It's it all over the place, weird. guys. If you take a look, like if a you guys weird. can't see it, and if you for those of you that don't golf and you don't know how golf greens work. They're very finely cut yeah, so that a ball can roll on them. And there's a lot of work that goes into it. Like there's layer upon layer of different substrates that go underneath this grass. And there's a very special kind of grass that you have. You can't just take any grass and cut it that no, short. No, they, they, uh, they put a lot of care into that. It's a lot of care, and it's not good when somebody comes in. Like you can't <laughs> drive the golf cart on it. Look, I think we, even so, so they'll have to get that repaired, right? Yeah. That's going to take forever. Right. But... Look at his face. He's still just Look angry. At he, 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 it's it, He's mad at, at the green. So if I was that friend, obviously I think the friend that goes to fix it is fixing it. But I think he, for me, the way I get the feeling is is his, he, he he did that nervous laugh. Like, what the yes, fuck is this Yes, that's how guy? I feel too. I feel like, bad what's this for guy this doing? guy. And then he's fixing it because he's like, okay, he I got to fix this. He knows how bad it is. Like, and you're gotta, in a bad spot. Yeah. I would have laughed too out of nerves. Just like, oh, fuck. And like, what are you going to do? It's socially awkward. And you, and you got a split second to react. I understand. I understand where this guy's coming from. Yeah. The buddies back here laughed pretty loud. They laughed. They laughed pretty that. loud. It's kind of a drunk laugh. All I know is like, I but, don't know. Man, look at this guy though. I've, I've got white pretty new balances with those tall socks. So I've got pretty angry golfing. Like, sure. I've thrown my club. Sure, I've, sure, sure. But, but that's I've normal. never in that's my life. Golf behavior. Yeah. I've never in my life had that thought of, I'm going to just 
take this to the green. Yeah. Because right. if I'm missing a putt and I hit it too hard, I'm more mad at myself. Well, and I enjoy getting to go to the course. Like, you, this is a good way to get yourself kicked off for life. I mean, no joke. Well, yeah. But I, that and I think... Um, this guy, oh, man, I'll bet you... Oh, I'll bet they were so mad. I don't I mean, think like, those and this, two are friends anymore. This ruined everybody that came behind them. Like, this is dead center of the green, too. Like, if you look at this... Like, look how at how... Pissed. How pissed would you be if you were the people There's, behind them? And all this little dirt clod stuff going on out here. Uh, you, yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, like, any little thing will make your ball start to bounce, and that takes away momentum. Like, it's hard to read the speed anyway. Yeah. And then you get that stuff going. What would and you do? If I saw that? If you saw that. I'd, I'd cry. You know what I mean? Like, I would take a mulligan. I would go. I would get. Uh, I'd go I mean, up ahead I, to figure out who the hell just did that. I call the clubhouse. You would have to. Poli- I wonder if this is like policeable. Like, is this like enough financial that, damage? Dude, that, that's vandalism. I mean, like, but that's hardcore. Like, if that's over a certain dollar amount, dude, that's gonna take thousands of dollars. I'm pretty sure, from a legal standpoint, you go to golf and it's you know expensive. Yeah, right. Taking care of a course. Oh man. Millions, yeah, you know, for know. real. No, it's like it's got to be expensive. That's why you pay eighty bucks to golf. Yeah, well, when I was at, so I was in Oregon last week. Yeah, for work. Yeah, this guy went to Oregon, came back, and then immediately got in the car and went back. <laughs> yeah, Oregon. well, I didn't drive, so I was okay. If I had to drive, that would probably have been a little different. Sure. Um, granted, the Oregon trip could have been shorter. Had things gone, you know, communicated better on yeah. the other teams, but. Right. You know, it is what it what is. Do? I, you know, I, you know, I had a good time. I got to hang out with my tech, uh, yeah. Alfonso. Nice. He's a good guy. And, uh, it's always cool to, you know, hang out and we'll go eat and God, I eat like a fucking pig by the way over there. I hear you, bro. <laughs> but I went golfing and the course was actually, it was like this. It looked beautiful. Yeah. I've never been golfing in that part, uh, like the Western side of the state, which really kind of hurts me. It, it's it's it is beautiful because you got all the is. evergreens. Right. You just got the you know you feel like foliage of everything everywhere yeah. you go. Dude. Every single course feels. This like course it. was not. I, I would love to go to this course, but do eighteen. Yeah. Next time, but um, but it was it was cheap. It was like thirty bucks. Damn. I walked. It was probably more if I would have got the cart. Sure. But yeah, it was a beautiful place. I would be so mad. Thirty bucks for nine holes, walking. Yeah. That's not bad. It wasn't bad at all. It was yeah. like, yeah, 30 bucks, something like that. Tax yeah. free because I'm in Oregon. Get out of yeah. here. I love our, our local course. So you go golfing in the evenings and it's 25 bucks until if you just walk. Oh, 25 bucks. That's a lot of course. It's a lot of course to walk. <laughs> Blanc and I made it 12 holes, I think. Yeah. We made it back to the clubhouse and then I had to stop because and I probably could have pushed one more in there. It was getting before, dark. It was getting a little dark. I seen this. She wanted goal. to be done. I, was I like, seen That's it was cool. a softball game, or it was either softball or baseball. But it was glow in the dark. Oh, nice! Like all their jerseys were like glowing. The ball glowed. So apparently, sick, dude. Uh, dude, Columbia Park does a glow, a glow golf event several times in summer. Like it's nighttime, it's dark, and they do glow balls and stuff. I, I don't know what they do. I don't know if they make it like uh if they light up the green or, or... Hmm. I always thought it'd be cool to do like neon lights. Like a, like glow oh, lights yeah. around like the fairway and around things. That'd be you sick. know? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. You know what they need to make? They probably actually make it so I can have a GPS on my ball. I know. I was thinking like stickers or something that you stick on there. Dude, cuz it is so frustrating when you Blanca lost the ball, ball yesterday. That's what I was referring yeah, to. Right. So Blanca, she hits this ball and it's it's off to the right. But and not, it, you not, see not, where it lands. Yeah, not ridiculously far. This is like when we went golfing at this wine valley. You see where it lands. You yeah. visibly see and you go to that spot and, and the ball's gone. gone. The ground eats it. It's gone. Yeah. And we walked and walked and walked up and down and up uh, and down. My my wife Alicia walked. She walked almost back to where you tee off. And this was Blanca's <laughs> second shot. It's right. so funny, like, <laughs> like the wives and Blanca's getting it now because like we've got enough, but it is like that awkwardness with your wife when you know that you can't really boss her around, but you also know golf course etiquette and they're just like blatantly <laughs> not having a clue what's going on. I'm like, babe. And you're like, I told, I had to tell Blanca one time, like we got to speed this up. Like <laughs> These guys are waiting and it makes you feel weird because you're like, I want you to enjoy this so much. I don't want you yeah, to I think I'm be just pushy. being a dick. Yeah, that's how I felt yesterday. But uh, I was, a lot I was of pressure, in, you know. 
But she was, you know, that's why I love my wife. She's just like, nah, whatever. I don't yeah. care. She did that. She's <laughs> like, that. she did it. She got goes, babe, come on. You know, they're, they're trying to tee off here in the way. And she goes, ah. <laughs> she throws Miranda like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> she was almost done, but huh. I was just trying to get her yeah. to even just get on it. Yeah. Just, just move a little. Get on in the trees. And Hang that's on. a, that's a long one too. That for that course, it's a, uh, like, that's the only one you can really get away with using the wood. I think. Yeah. You know? That's what, Hey, I got on the green on my, with my wood. Yeah. I got just off it after losing a ball, but that, I found the ball. I thought I lost. That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. At least he's like, I found there's this orange one. I was like. Oh, that's fine. So I took that yeah. and just put it back in my pocket. You know, it's so weird. I had that massive like slice and now I got a massive hook. I just need to cut it in half. So maybe I need to adjust my hands a little more center. Maybe I've gone too far back. I don't know. I just took but, his idea where I just moved myself. Yeah. And that worked yesterday. Yeah. If you know consistently, that's yeah. that Ben Hogan, man. I, oh, Ben Hogan. That's right. I was watching. Yeah. That video changed my life although it didn't because didn't really impact my over like overall my score is always about the same which i guess makes sense mm -hmm. but it just drives me nuts like some days i'll go out and feel good some days i feel like trash and then i look at my scorecards and like okay within like three strokes yeah you know yeah yeah. See, that was one of those voices. Yeah. <laughs> so you, uh, yeah, I, pff, I mean, I don't know. That's how I feel, though. Every time I go golfing, I just feel like, yeah. Golf is weird because, like, I'm uh, sitting there, and I think others would know this, who golf is like, you'll go to the driving range. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm trying to help Alicia with golf, you know, because yeah, yeah. I'm still pretty new to it myself, if you, you know, three years in or four years. And I had, you know, I would hit a few balls here and there, and I was hitting some shots. Just nailing them, yeah. Yeah, I would just roll it over, and I would you know, use my irons, and I was cracking them out there, and mm -hmm. they were just feeling good. And I was like, all right, yeah, I'm ready for this. <laughs> you go to hit, and all of a sudden, I think all the good shots yeah. got left. There's something weird about the, like, the mentality of sports, you know? That's why they have sports psychologists, because, yeah, like you're hitting a ball when there's like really nothing riding on it. No big deal. You go out there to actually hit a ball to play, like when you're kind of keeping track of score and you like you want to see that you're improving, everything goes to hell. Yeah. It's like it's all it's all the mental. You yeah, know? I, I should have just been okay, I'm just hitting this yeah. while I'm watching Alicia swim. Right. Mm -hmm. And Blanca she brought it up the best way. I'm sure it's like a common common way to look at golf, but she's like it's it's an abusive relationship. Oh yeah. No, like the entire time toxic. it just treats you like shit. It makes it your fault that you suck and then it, it gives you one moment of beauty and you're like the, uh, this is nice I like oh this. dude but that chip so like i true. you know like i said the chip shot right. that i wrote on that for a few minutes right you know a few right. times just because it just i'm like oh, okay and then see i had a shot when we first started going golfing together it's because we went with some friends to like a friday night golf thing it was one of those tournaments yeah. that you were talking about and uh, I had the same thing. I could not hit for shit anything. I hadn't played in, I mean, probably five years. But I hit the chip shot like that, like from like 90 yards out. Yeah. Hit it, hits the green, rolls in. Totally zero skill. Just absolute luck. But, yeah. I mean, like, you never forget those moments. No, you don't. It's, it's just incredible. 90 yards is wild. It was pretty nuts. Like, I had to take a full swing with my sand wedge. Right? Yeah. And that's so like a football field. Hit it. That's crazy. And it hits and rolls. It was it was cool. Like, it was cool. But I'd be so Yeah, proud. I mean, I was like flipping out, but then every other shot I took was bullshit. But, but you, the, after that, it doesn't matter because that, really that matter. relationship. You had that one moment. Yeah, she showed you your titties. Right. And you're like, fuck. I'm in. Yeah. And then she punched me in the eye and was like. Because you're like, I'm going to get to the. I'm going to get to the. <laughs> I'm going to get a hole in I'm going to get into the cooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love that word. Yeah. Me and Alicia, was always, I've always laughed at the word cooter. It's pretty funny. And then to hear Theo Vaughn use the word cooter, just well, but he uses it so seriously, and I know he does it because of the humor of it. I think he just, also so... uses it because I think from where he's from, Is that they use normal? it. Normal, like that's normal? probably a word they that's use in so Louisiana. Funny. Funny. So funny. This is a cooter sandwich. Um, the other thing too is like Alicia yesterday was noticing all those cars parked. And the crazy thing with our brains is like, so there's a soccer field across the street from this golf course. Yeah. And there's nothing but a line of trees that block you from the street. Yeah. From where they call the cars park on the other they side. Park, of this. There's no parking lot at no. this particular just, soccer yeah. field. It's just street parking. Yeah. So people are right next to the fairway, which in my view 
that's on you. Like, you know. Not only next to this fairway, the fairway is very yeah. narrow. Yeah, there's not a lot of miss space, you no. know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. So she was like, oh, man, the fucking cars. And it's like, nope. Do not think about the cars because mm-hmm. somehow our brain has a way. Like, we can suck balls at golf. Don't hit a car. Don't but if car. you're worried about not hitting a particular spot, guess where you're going to hit? Yeah. You're that f- spot you don't want Although there hit. was this guy. He, he was parked in the front as we're teeing off. Yeah. And he's just sitting there looking at his, tr- at his truck, right? Yeah, right. Watching Staring, us. and I looked at him, and I'm like, okay. And then I was like, I just nodded, like, what's up, you know? Yeah. And then uh, then he's like out of his car standing there. I don't know. That's when he's out of his car standing there. I, I like was like, what are you doing? Right. Why are you just standing there? And I'm like, hey, you know, like, yeah, what's going on? You know, I give him that nod, you know, like I, I, I just, acknowledge your presence. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to swing? Right. No, he's just, he's him. just watching. He's, he's like, just watching. I'm impressed. He just didn't say nothing. Watching he didn't our even... wives asses swing those clubs. I'm like, fuck you. Bro. Then I, the, the beauty of me, I'm a left handed. So I was staring back at him. Nice. <laughs> just know. staring him down as you swung. And I bit my bottom lip. <laughs> This for Stuck you, your tongue daddy. out just a little bit. This for you, daddy. Man. Uh, yeah. That oh, what's guy... the word I hear now? Zaddy. Zaddy? Zaddy. Yeah. Oh, hey, Zaddy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's just a little dialect. In I don't know why it's a Z now, though. No, that's the thing. I've Is heard. it really? It's like an older daddy. I don't know. Grayer daddy, maybe? A daddy's daddy. Huh. <laughs> it's a daddy. granddaddy. <laughs> oh, granddaddy's hey, daddy. Grandpappy. Oh, um, <laughs> great grandpappy. Yeah, man, it was uh, it was fun, but that one guy that came behind us, God, he was kind of a weirdo. He was. It running. took him eight hours to pay. He ended up in front of us in line. Should have been behind us in line, and then he wanted to have an eight hour conversation about the golf pass that they sell. They sell like a range pass, and Is that so what he, he talked about that forever. And then what happens if I lose it? Well, you fucking lose it, bro. And she's giving him tips on like keep it in your golf bag. Oh, I mean, he's just he took forever. He took anyway, so then long. he gets out there. He's hitting two balls, which is fine. I don't, I don't care. Hey, hey, but hey. he's hitting two balls, and then we decide to wait for him. Obviously, we're waiting for him. He still hits two balls. So I'm like, okay, that's like two holes worth of play that you just spent. You know, like yeah, we're yeah. waiting for you. Well, but okay, and then he, there's four of us. But okay. he's also running like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> he was sprinting. I'm like, hold a hole. He's like sprinting down the field. <laughs> it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he was like, it's like skeet shooting or whatever. What's the the Olympic game where like they have to like cross country ski and then get down and shoot and then cross country ski and it's a yeah, race. Yeah. It was like it's that. Like skiing. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> I think I, that's. I, they I, do I, don't, that. I don't. I don't but know. But I know what you're talking about. But like, but they also shoot those rifles, right? Mm-hmm. That's what he was doing. He was hitting a golf ball and then running as fast as he could to the golf ball. He said he was trying to get a workout. Okay. Why? Because he was on coke, I think. Something. The guy was a little weird. Yeah. He, he was. wasn't very friendly until he lost his fucking tumbler, and then he was like, "Hey Hoo. guys, do you guys see it? It's a shaker bottle." No. Okay. And boy, the shitter smelled. Awful. Fuck. I was ready to die. Dude. I was so impressed you went for your ball that went over there. Cause I that, don't have that great of a smeller, whew, but I don't either, but I was gonna barf. It was it was pretty rank. But like yeah, it was, but like I don't know. It just I smell it, but it doesn't I don't know. I guess I don't think about it. Yeah. It, it, don't get me wrong, it was nasty, but it's not like but I was didn't I didn't feel like it, I was you didn't let it get into the inner recesses of your brain. I no, man, it. I was in the zone. I was feeling good that day. Right. Um, I was feeling. I was riding a high. My wife was golfing for the first time, so I was yeah. pretty excited about that. Um, so I was gonna let a shit ruin my day. Man, let me tell you, I was. I was pretty pumped for it. I told her, I, babe, I'm not gonna lie to you. Think I'm more excited than you are. Sure. No, just <laughs> having, was, oh, yeah, really having the wives out there is a lot of fun, and, and Block is really enjoying it. That's the thing that makes me so happy. Is like I think she's legitimately enjoying it. Go, you golf. Know, it's not like she's just going for me. I mean, I know that like it's probably mainly for me. Yeah, probably. But like, I think there's just a lot of like fun that she's having for herself now. Yeah, which it makes me happy. Um, I remember I used to play uh, on the Wii, oh seven Tiger Woods. Oh shit! And the funniest thing with that felt game, probably pro, huh? It, it felt pretty good. Like you learned how to swing that in a way. Like it was weird because the controller would get caught in certain places and then he would be like holding his club back like this <laughs> and you'd have to like do something with It'll it where stutter. it would register and then it would fuck up your swing. But the funniest thing was when he would nail a putt 
they'd have this like digitized Tiger Woods. It looks a little a little fucked up. Like his eyes are a little too crossed. And <laughs> he picks up his tism. ball and they're they're clapping. And he's like <laughs> he's waving, but his head's a little too naughty. Dude. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. It was a good game. I enjoyed it. Uh GTA five you can golf. I got pretty good at golf and his Michael. And it's funny because like it's like real life. He'll hit a putt. He's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> and he'll, uh, like one thing you hit I didn't it wrong. You like, fuck the stupid game. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you oh, could yeah. golf in that game. Oh, yeah. Los Santos Country Club or whatever the fuck it's called. I Man, I used to golf round after round at that place. And you, <laughs> you can walk 18. People. You can, yeah. No, you used to drive a golf cart around there. Okay. And you can filter through clubs. Everything, man. It's like a real golf game. <laughs> I hear GTA 6 might have multiple golf courses. No. No, jo- no joke. That'd be sick. You can, no, it's you 100, it's 100 bucks the game. around. So if you're broke, you just go out and like rob some people. <laughs> go beat up a you, hooker. You know, it's like it's like being one of them free range Portlanders. You just get what you need for the moment. You get back there and you get it done. It was it's incredible. that's the best way I to earn money it, though. Man. Beat up hookers. Just beat up a hooker, fucker. Steal your money back. <laughs> that's so fucked up. Oh man! And then the way that they fall too, like legs straight out. <laughs> it's, not that I've killed fake hookers much, oh, but uh, is it had. normal to pretend that you're a serial killer in that game? <laughs> no, because you know what's funny is, so I play this Rise of the Ronin uh, game, and so you know you're this samurai, and you, I'm trying to play it in a way where I'm playing both sides. Okay, yeah, because I'm trying my my main goal is to figure out my who my my other half samurai lady is. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah, right. So I'm I'm playing both sides. But randomly, I'll kill just uh, just some random some town random folk on purpose. Or yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> just standing with their but back. But I thought team. about that. Yeah. I was yeah. like, I'm just gonna randomly do that yeah, once right. in a while. Right. Do you get something from them? Like, no, kill, no. Just, just, just to be a serial uh, killer. Just to be a samurai serial killer. No, <laughs> That's something why. so creepy about it. Like, why? What is it? And like, yeah. I mean, I'm totally normal here. Like, but like, no, you do this in games. You know, you're like. Oh, I'm going to pick up a hooker and murder her. Like, that's <laughs> not... Give me my money back. That's pretty much what a serial killer does. Like, you think about it. Yeah, it's wild. Man. Live it, living that life. Yeah, you're trying to just get in the mind space of one of these fuckers, you know? Like, <laughs> But I was just like, you know how easy I can just... Yeah. But, you know, as soon as you pull your shirt out, people are like... Ah! Right. Oh my God, <laughs> he's got a knife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the it, video game. I'm so excited to see what AI does. I think we talked about this, but like AI with like the uh, NPC piece. That would be cool if they like, can like learn. You know, I was watching people's actions in Portland. Free right? guy. That movie, Free Guy. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Right. NPC's right. He's gonna be like fighting exactly. back. Like they're gonna be real. But yeah. that's so, so cool about it. Like I was just watching. I was people watching hard down there. Yesterday when we were eating, oh, yeah. and like there's an old guy, and there was a girl they, grabbed her kushi. Yeah, apparently right next to us. Missed that. <laughs> yeah. um, but what are you gonna do? Stare at somebody standing right next to you? No, <laughs> that'd be weird. So it was like, yeah, missed opportunity. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, this guy it was like an old guy, and he's waiting on his wife. They're crossing the street, and just that look on his face of like, "Come on, bitch, let's go." <laughs> It was funny. I'm like, that's what we're missing in video games is that reality, that scent of life, you know? Yeah. Like, it's the same guy, and they've gotten better at making, like, instead of eight guys who walk down. Like, I played GTA 3 recently because mm-hmm. it's, like, a free download through Netflix. Pretty cool game, but it's very basic. So you have, like, eight people that walk down the street. So and it's what- the same eight people. I mean, like, you look, and there's, like, the same people scattered around the street. Now it's like there's like probably like 200 people. Well, I think you know? in the newer one, it's going to be even more. It's going to be just totally randomized, which is going to be amazing because it's going to be like real people. Yeah, that's going to be cool. You, know, you go to kill a hooker in GTA 6, she's going to be telling you about her kids. <laughs> like, she's going to be trying to spare her I'm gonna, life. I'm actually, I, I got to <laughs> play. I tried to download GTA 5, but then it was making me do this online stuff, and I didn't really care to do that. Gotcha. No, I just do the story. Uh, they do like, you know, you can choose like how hard you want the game to be. I always do the easiest setting. Oh, yeah. I'm trying and to And I just it. want the story. The story is You fun. get older. You don't want to stress because you're... I play video games to like... To decompress. To decompress. Yeah. That's my like... Don't stress. Chill time. Decompress, you know? Yeah. Granted, yeah, there's times time. when I'm, I'm playing that certain levels or certain right. things are a little difficult. Right. Or if I'm playing like a sports game and I'm the game's close and I'm like, 
Yeah, if there's times I get so I get sports, I get a little ragey. Are tricky that way because there has to be a certain level of like competition. I'm like goddamn, motherfucker. but like I like to just I just want to enjoy it. Yeah, right. I don't need it to be I want it, it's hard. Like, I want it to be a movie that's immersive. Like well, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for, you know. And like they give that to you now. The when I do play and I and I start finding like it's too easy, I I, I end up because now I know the controls or whatever. I right. know, I'll up it. Yeah, that's usually what I do. Is I'm sure. like, okay, this is getting it's too easy, so it gets to a point where it's too boring. Yeah, so that's when I will. Well, that's one it. of the things too. Like I, I'm hoping the AI can make a little more, like even with uh, the um, Sushima, you know, there's like a little bit of repetition in there. Like it's, yeah, that's it's, how this rise around. You know, is. it's like, it's good stuff. Like I love the game. Don't get me wrong, because there's been some like uh, La Noir was one that was like a really cool game. But man, every damn time I know I've talked about this. Every time you go to arrest a guy, he shifty eyes and then runs off, and you're like, yeah. God, I gotta fucking chase another guy down. Yeah, and you yeah. want to shoot him. You don't want to just kill him. <laughs> that's how. But yeah. then you fail the mission. You got to start over. You know, so it's like that's man. why, like a lot of like the Spider-Man games, a lot of those games are really cool, but, but the rep they just same thing. Yeah, that's kind of how Rise of Odin yeah. is. He's like, you know, you go to this area, and then right. you have like little mini missions you can do, but right. it's all pretty much the same. Go right. find the cat. Go right. Pet. There's a cat. You all, <laughs> the dude loves fucking cats in this game. Okay. So one of the things is you'll come across a cat, and you'll push R1 and he'll pet it for a second. So it's a little bit like the uh, little fox den, right? And uh, You'll pet Sushima. it and then it's like runs off. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's Ooh. funny. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Fucking fox rubbing against your leg. <laughs> and then, yeah. It but the fighting in cool. Ghost of Shima is so much I superior. I love Ghost of Tsushima. This, it was so much the the sword fighting is so superior. Is it? I think so. That always makes me nervous when you get a game that's this kind of like good. another game. Yeah, yeah. you like, know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. But it's good. Like it's, it, it's R- good. Rise of the Ronin's pretty. It, pretty yeah, solid. It took me, the story is cool because you're you know you're anti shogunate or you're pro. That's really neat. That, yeah. So yeah. you're you know that's how I'm right now. I'm like I said I'm doing missions for both sides kind of kind of like that. But uh, let me cool. jump in the question of the week real quick. Sure. Um. Is uh, and I got this kind of question from the Theo Von podcast actually because he'll the cool thing about his podcast is he's kind of like insightful he's a, in a way, insightful. like yeah, but it's in his way. So yeah. some of the stuff he'll say, like, um, before I get into question of the week, he you know, he mentioned just how he used to just kind of like lay around the house and mm-hmm. just kind of just. He'd be in bed too long and get his brain he's, thinking. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, right. so now he's living life and doing that. But he had said something in there. And then Alicia, the reason she went golfing is because because of she was listening to that and heard that. And she was like, that. Kept, I heard him saying this. Right. And so, yeah, I'm going to go. Right. So this this is one of those days I'm dri- driving to, to Oregon. And, and I thought about this. And it made me think about that because um, this one was uh, like, so how do you na- navigate not feeling good about yourself? Mm-hmm. Was the question? Yeah, man. So, you know, like I know a couple years ago, like maybe I wasn't feeling, I wasn't in the best headspace. Yeah, I just, man. You know, I hated myself. And yeah, you know, I think every you- now and then, you know, you still get that feeling of like you feel like you're failure as a parent. Right. And like, how do you navigate those feelings and when those do come up? You know. Yeah. I think, yeah, we all, we all have those times. Like the cool thing I think about us doing our podcast and thank you to the three of you that listen every week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we, um, we've been through it. Like you guys have kind of heard us from the beginning Yeah. and we didn't know what the hell we were doing with this. And I remember like feeling kind of a high from this show, mm-hmm. you know, like for like that first year doing this, it's like, we were so nervous but then it's kind of like an adrenaline rush. And so I felt special. I felt like yeah. something was happening, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then like, then started working out and I felt oddly horrible that year. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I went from like feeling like in this weird zone to feeling very low. Yeah, no, and, that, that uh, is weird because yeah, like, but everything was like better. I was like getting all the pieces of my life were coming together. I was like, I'm getting healthy. This is gonna be a great year. It's just that head, but I was off of anxiety medication, so I'll be honest about that. But yeah, like it is a headspace, and it's weird. Like you can fall out of it. You can get in that funk. Yeah, because so rut. like you said, like when we started this podcast, like 
it was like that, you know, like, oh, dude, we're pumped. Yeah. We would drink. We were just We'd get fun. a little drunk just to get started because it's like, fuck, I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah, get the liquid courage. But it's so weird now. Like, it doesn't even no. phase me to come in here. Yeah, it's just like, it's like we can just start. <laughs> the three people that we love are like, listening. Like so. I said, the, the conversations we have, we would have this regardless if we were podcasting. Yeah, this is, just, this is just talking. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no. And then. You know, you. I remember when you started getting healthier. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the same. Yeah, thing. right. And yeah, just even be just before that, like I remember I was just started gradually getting in worse headspace. Yeah, and I was just like down on myself. I didn't right, feel like a piece of shit. Well, I, and you've kind of you, like you had the the drinking stuff, and you you really. And so now I feel like I'm a little better. I still yeah. have certain feelings that I feel. Right, you know, but, but you like, like you've been a year. And a half, yeah, a year and a half sober, like completely, like no, no alcohol, yeah, which is really cool. I made it a week, I'm pretty yeah. proud of myself. Made it a week, but that's just <laughs> my choice, like, but um, like, yeah, but no, it's good. And like, I think, uh, you know, for you, like you're saying, like, I, I did <laughs> notice before how down on yourself you get, when yeah, you drank, like, you obviously felt really bad about yourself in those moments, yeah, and, and I so, didn't like yeah. that, so and so that's like, you know, Theo Vaughn kind of talked about it, and I think it's really true, like. He was talking about uh, knowing, like, the actual truth. Like, you can think there's a truth, but then there's the real truth. Yeah. You know, and it's like, it's kind of true. You trick your brain, <laughs> brain into true. thinking this one truth when you deep down know right. it's really not. You know, and, like, you got to find the things that are making you feel crappy and either remove them from your life or fix them. Like, some things you can't avoid. I used to have nightmare after nightmare after nightmare about math because I sucked at math. Yeah. And I always felt like just intimidated by it and enraged by it. And so forever, after I graduated college, I'd have these horrible nightmares that I had a math final and I didn't go to class. And it was based on experience when I had a math final in college and I hadn't gone to class. It was like a whole semester. I went like a handful of times to this math class. It was pretty bad. I shouldn't have done that. But, uh, it's, it's like that, those stresses. And it's like, well, I had to overcome that math. You know, yeah. I had to like face that dragon, but that th I think that's it. the thing that a lot of times we do is like we avoid situations that are going to be stressful. So yeah. like you miss right. math class or like right. you procrastinate on like a project, right? It's like that's fucking stressful. But it becomes like a headspace thing, you know. Yeah. Like it starts to def define you, and yeah. you got to be careful with that. I mean, like some things are toxic, and you just need to cut them out of your life. Like yeah, a cancer, you know. Yeah, you can't just live with a cancer. You got to remove that shit. But, but. You can't remove, like, your lungs, <laughs> yeah. you know, if they're not cancer. Yeah, you need something. You got to breathe. You yeah. got to drink water. You got to eat food. You got to sleep. There's yeah. certain things that you have to have in your life. So if it's something that you can't just avoid, then you got to tackle it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you got to tackle it head on. Yeah, and, like, a little element of putting yourself out there. Like, one thing fun with the podcast is, it's like, it's an outlet. Yeah. You know, it's something special. That we do. And I think kids missing that, like, nowadays. Well, yeah. no, I guess their kids are kind of putting themselves out there a little more with they social are, media. They are, but it's so like dangerous, too, but though. But it's like, they're, not, know, it's like, they're but, not in the sense of, like, a social environment, yeah. though. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're on social media because it's vi it's digital. Right. But, like, socially being out there. Yeah, right, exactly. Versus They're very active in a fake media world. media presence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's, I think kids nowadays need the, actually the physical... Right, being out there because I, you know, like Elena, my daughter, she, she, you know, doesn't like. She gets very anxious. Yeah, in real life settings. Yeah, yeah so it's like yeah. you, you need to put them in those situations because the more you're in those situations, the less yeah. you're gonna. It's just it's, practice. It's, you're just gonna be yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what it is. Practice. Building a comfort zone. Yeah, it's it's wild. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, I was like so. This is a little off topic, but in kind of the same vein, like thinking about the social media thing. I was so ready to get shit on so much more doing this show. Like I was expecting <laughs> negative, like you, you should fucking die kind of comments, you know, like that you're would garbage. Be so wild. I was thinking like I was yeah. ready for that and we've never gotten anything mean. No. For this world that's so, you know, shitty and stuff. It's like, it's just been like, we've gotten some random comments that have been like super, yeah, yeah. you know, nice. Do you need a Russian housewife? Right. Just stupid ad. I mean, it's <laughs> crazy. I got like five of them now. <laughs> I but, know. They're uh, sponsored. This is sponsored yeah, by Russian RussianHousewives.com. <laughs> if you need a Russian housewife with massive tits, you can go to <laughs> RussianHousewife.com right yeah. now. 
<laughs> no, it's um, it's uh, it's been a nice thing. I mean, probably because like, you know, we're still in that sweet spot where we get to create art, if you will. Yeah. And, but people don't know about it. So if we got like just a little more popular, we'd probably start getting some of that hate. Yeah, but which is normal. Which uh, you know, it's like I think at this point I can handle it though. Yeah, you I know, think like, so. I was like, you should die. I hate your voice. I'd be like, well, yeah. I get it. I you get sh- it. You should probably, you know, stab your ears or something yeah. so you don't have to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> or turn the channel. How's that? Right. Yeah. Don't listen. You fucking piece of <laughs> shit. No, no. I can handle this shit. You <laughs> fucking twat. Why don't you die? Why don't you choke on a dick? <laughs> yeah. No, I but hate, it's a. Uh, I know. hate your voice. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel bad too because uh, Mike's always like, yeah, the kids are in the car when I listen. I'm like, Ooh. sorry, girls. Because I know them. And then you walk down the hall, like, hey, how's it going? Have a good weekend? To the kid. She's like smiling a little bit like, yeah, I hear you, son of a bitch. I know what you say. <laughs> okay. Mr. Parm <laughs> isn't like this. Yeah, he's not a nice man. Mr. Um, <laughs> nah. No, I, I love it. Mike's, it's so fun to work with somebody that, you know, like listens to this shit and he's like, he knows. He yeah, knows. yeah, yeah. You know, he knows. Yeah. But I mean, he's also a guy and he's. You know, probably had some of those same feelings. He, as, yeah, man. I mean, or, like, you know, it, it's universal. Like, yeah, it is. Humanity is universal. Like, we all feel like we're special in some way. And I think there's like an egotism to every, you know, like our feelings and stuff. It's like we feel so down and shit because it's like we, we, some, something inside of us is like, oh, I shouldn't feel this way. Mm-hmm. You know, isn't that egotistical? What, you right? should feel, you should be able to feel your own feelings. Right. You should feel your feelings. Yeah. Yeah, Theo Vaughn was working on that in 2017. I don't know what he's doing now. It's well, been, it, it's a little some while of his ago. Some clips that I see are still pretty, still like. Still kind of the same. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've seen some of his new stuff, but yeah. I watch it more now. Like shorts, you know, will pop up. Yeah, yeah. So, like, but uh, some of the stuff I've caught, um, I've heard in his older stuff. Yeah. And then you'll hear some of his new stuff. And yeah, he's, I, th- I feel like he's still in that like motivational headspace. Yeah. Or, no, de- to, and he's very trying like, to find himself. Do you know, was he clean back in 17? Like was he, he was working on being sober? sober. He, I think at that time he was, um, I think he had said at one point, a few podcasts before that he was like in nine months or something. Okay. Cause something now like it's like, it's interesting to, cause you know, he hangs out like, like, you know, I've seen him like talk to like Burt Kreischer who still parties, you know, pretty hard. And it's this interesting, like, He's never judgmental, but yeah. he definitely sees things differently, you know, now. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I've, I've just seen him where he's just, like, you know, giving honest questions to people about, like, do you think it would be good if you didn't do this or, like, whatever? And, like, he's cool with their answers, but it's, like, it's just, it's very interesting to see somebody who's kind of come through it. Yeah. And is on the other side and is, like, I think genuinely happy that he's... Not there. Not there anymore. And, like, yeah. I don't think Burt Kreischer has a problem. I think Burt Kreischer just is a fun guy. Well, I mean, I get it. But you know what I mean? Like, as a guy who lived reality- in that, and he's like, nah, like. His I, reality, yeah, he knew right. that he wasn't the good person that he is now. You know what right. I mean? Right. He's like, he's a better man without it. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, a yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. I feel, I feel and so, for me, and I guess I feel in, in that sense. You I feel, feel that way. Yeah, and I don't, I'm not judgy. I don't care if someone drinks. It's, right. I, to me, I don't care if you drink or you don't drink or. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not going to alter the way I, I, you know what I mean? It's yeah, not. I get you. Seeing you guys drink don't make me go, I, uh, you know, I don't have the shit. Yeah. yeah the, girl, <laughs> the girls, they had this nice looking drink. And yeah, part of me wanted to take a sip and sure, try it. Right. And I, I had actually asked Elisa, I was like, would that be weird? Right. And she's like, well, would you get like super addicted if you drank it? I'm like, well, no, but. Right. I was like, I guess I'll do it when, but I'm, I get, when like, I'm ready. Then, yeah. you know, maybe. But the headspace, I get it. Like when you've <clears throat> like nothing. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you cut it and you cut it like you haven't done anything. Yeah. There is a sense of like kind of like the, the chip that they give you in like the programs. Right. Yeah. Like there's a sense of accomplishment. And I can see that there being like a psychological piece where it's not so much like I think I'm going to become an alcoholic. But like it's like I, I got a myself. year and a half behind me. Do it's I like all that just, work. Yeah, like, do I just want to start at zero? Because technically, it's like, how are you defining this thing? Yeah. You know, like, I what is your what definition it, of it? I think for me, that's what it is. It's just yeah, like, right. Now it's like, now it's, well, how long can I go? Right. You know, now it's more right. of me like, okay, now let's see. Right. You know? Right. Just to push. And is it a zero? Myself? Is it an absolute zero? Or is it like, can you taste a drink? And does that think, still count? I think eventually, you know, there might yeah. be a time where I'll see like, you know, some fruit, fruity drink that looks good. And I'm like, 
just take a sip. Oh, right. that's, that's good. But I also get. Or like, I could be like. <laughs> right, I get what I get the fear too, because like no, that. I, I'm not afraid that I'll yeah. do that. But a couple weeks ago, how funny would that be? We did not. <laughs> <laughs> just just gobbling it down. It's. Uh, I mean, yeah, like alcohol is funny that way because that's what happened to me a couple weekends ago. I, you know, we didn't post the podcast because God, um, <laughs> but like IPAs, I had some tall boy IPAs and they were really good. But my, my father-in-law came and like, it was just, I just had one and then I had one with him and it was but just enough too quick. And then well, my brain went from like normal human functioning to just like more, 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 you know, well, that's the thing you start and, uh, feeling. Yeah. Good. And then it's like, you want to keep that party going, but that party goes into a dark hole. You get mixed in with those oh, dark arts. Like, he said, like Theo Vaughn says, I got too, too deep in those dark arts. <laughs> the dark arts. That guy, fuck man. That's funny. But that's what it is. It's but, like, yeah, that's, and that's a, kind of something I've always like, I guess when people would ask why, you know, if yeah. when they ask, I was like, I, uh, I don't know if I, I never felt like I was overly drinking. Like I knew I drank too much, obviously, but yeah, I, it's just like, I just didn't know when to say no. Like sure, it was just right. cause like, I'm just hanging out now. We're just having fun. I'm not thinking about yeah. I've had 34 drank. Right. And I do, you know, I do feel bad and I know what but, you mean. Like, yeah. you know, when you, you're having a good time and stuff, but then it's like, you do think back like the kids were always around and like seeing it and it's like ah. well they they would hear me there'd be times they heard me talking like shit about me uh-huh. you know and that that that's what's the point that's, where you're like yeah right you know what's that showing them for you their know, like, for their sense of self and their yeah like, well my right. dad's done it like right. he seems okay but like he does it you right. know i don't know right sometimes you know yeah yeah my dad i remember growing up my dad never drank in front of us like I, he would have a beer here and there but like just at, like when you talk about a social drinker that was my dad he partied hard in college like hats off to him he was a like nope He's had no weird. need for it in his life like he wasn't going to do that yeah like you know and so like i never really i remember growing up he had hard liquor on a bar in the house and the levels in that Either he just like kept changing the water level in there, or he never drank any of it. But I never yeah. saw him drunk, never Your anything. Your dad's doing rails and, and all like, this yeah, crazy yeah. Stuff. He just he switched to coke, <laughs> pure coke. Um, but it was crazy. like it was that's cool. Yeah, but I mean it was really cool. But he used to make a lot of jokes about being an arky, okay. and like uh, Arkansas person. Oh, so oh, like I thought he, that was like a term for yeah, something. Yeah, no, no, Arky. Like the family came from Arkansas, okay. and it was kind of like always a joke of like, kind of blue collar. Like we were never really, like, good enough in a way. Yeah, yeah. kind of, kind of self shit talking in a yeah. way. And I used to get so innerly angry about it, you know. <laughs> and I think like, you know, I, it's not. I'm not like shit talking my dad because. No, no, no. Uh, you know, but I'm saying. just saying, like, we don't, it's so easy to kind of forget as an adult that your kids do see you as, like, kind of like we see them as a reflection of ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, without really processing that, do the same thing. So anything we project about ourselves to them is somehow internalized. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, even if it's just a it joke. It just becomes natural. Yeah, they're like, just like, that's like, well, my dad <laughs> says that this is what we are. Yeah. So, so we this, must be Yeah, this, yeah. You know? Yeah. And yeah, yeah, man. It's like. It is weird because there's things I've I've seen in like JJ do or maybe Elena. Yeah. It's just like thinking about it now. I'm like, fuck that. That came from me. Right. You know, maybe that they Oops. see. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, and so, yeah. My bad. Uh, so there's a sense of like, sometimes I feel guilty for that. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, sure. And it's just like crazy. And some of it's just life. I mean, I think, you know, especially when you're a younger parent and by younger, I, I don't even mean just like young, like I was 20 and had my first kid. I just mean like 15. When, when you first have a kid, like it doesn't switch that all of a sudden you're like ready to be a perfect human no it's you know and like you're so still there's learning. a lot of figuring things out and growing up and changing and you gotta evolving remember, yeah you how know, many times you've been a parent up to this point right and you Never. realize like how fallible as a human you are and uh kids look at their parents as like you know, the ultimate person that you're your parent like you're boring you're stupid like you've never done anything in your life it's like oh you know i've i have fucked up you know. Oh yeah, and I, I like try to tell the kids that. Yeah. You know, like, like no. we're all people. Yeah. We all we're all young and stupid. I went to school. I hated it too. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
Yeah, I mean, school can suck sometimes. I can say that as a teacher. I get it. Uh, I can say that too. But I'm it's not like, a yeah, I, I, it's. Uh, mm. What was the What was the question again? Uh, I don't think there was one. No, yeah, your your question was. Uh, no, the question of the yeah, week. Yeah, the question of the week was a little off Nav- topic. But navigating. We're, that's okay. We're yeah, like, how do you feel good about yourself? You yeah. you. How do you navigate? You work feeling on good yourself. about oneself. Yeah. You stay mindful in the process of evolution of yeah. a human being. I think you find those triggers like that. Yeah. Like I'm trying to notice for me is certain things that trigger. Right. Like out, like for me, I like I have these knee jerk reactions when I get angry. Uh huh. Right. Right. I just rah, and I'll throw something, and I don't do that in the house. It's usually outside. Yeah, I got something you. stupid. Um, <clears throat> but knowing when I can feel that coming, yeah, it's usually when I start like, okay, I'll step back because I feel myself like wanting to f- fuck I, something up. Yeah. Yeah. For no, and then I think about what, why. Right. Oh, because the dogs are whining or something that makes me mad. So I just want to yell or something. Yeah, right. Like, gosh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, why am I feeling this way? So I'm like, okay. Yeah. No, it's, you know, just it's, I think it's being right. mindful of what's stressing you out. Sure. In those situations. Yeah. And also, <clears throat> like, you know, like the Yvonne said, and like Alicia did yesterday, living. There is a lot of joy in getting out there in the world and doing stuff. Yeah. Not just sitting around letting the world pass you by. I think when I've been least happy is the times I've just been sitting around the house. And it was tough because for a long time, like Blanca was a little bit on the depressed side and she didn't really like to go do things. Like she really liked to just be at home together, like watching TV and stuff. And it was, it's nice. But I would get very like just antsy. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, because I, like I, w- I like to go kayaking and I like to golf and I like to do those types of activities. Oh, and, yeah. Like she's really getting there. Like I... I I, I hope she's not just completely doing it for me, but she seems to be coming to that place of wanting to be out in the world and well, wanting think, to get out of there. I think with it is they're just like with our, with our wives sometimes. It's not that they don't want yeah. to do it. It's just, it's just, it's more of a chore to go out there, you know, do it. Yeah. And so when, but when it, the it, habit they do forms, it, they're like, oh though. man, this is actually Right. And then hopefully like the payback is like, I feel good when I do this. So I want to do it more yeah. just to get out there in the world. It doesn't have to be those things, but just like, yeah, get out there and do something a little different. Yeah. You know, like, or just be alive, be, be alive. living. Yeah. We get, don't one, get in them dark arts. Don't, <laughs> yeah. Don't fall too deep into those dark arts. <laughs> God, Theo Vaughn. Don't just listen to this podcast. Listen to ours. It's pretty great, too. <laughs> Theo Vaughn, yeah, uh, yeah. Shane Gillis, that guy's fucking hysterical. His, If you get a chance to see Shane Gillis, go yeah, see he's it. He's pretty funny. He's a great storyteller. Uh, yeah. It was a great weekend, man. Yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was fun. I can't believe it's still Sunday. Like, so much happened. We left at, f- like, around 4. On Friday. On Friday. And it was just a whirlwind, man. Like... Yeah, that was crazy. You think like we were we were going to the golf course at four o'clock yesterday. Within twenty four hours, we went from going to Shane Gillis in Portland to coming back here and playing golf. That's kind of wild, actually. It's, it's, it was a, an amazing weekend. We set up a new studio. Yeah, we're in the. We new got studio. some ideas for a little backdrop. We're gonna, yeah. Can you guys see this new studio? It looks nothing. It looks. It looks like completely identical. different. Everyone's like, Whoa. just do you notice the two little holes? That's the only difference. Don't worry, it's gonna be gone. Yeah. We, we got a plan. We're going to kind of kick it old school the way that you used to see it in the early days. If you look back, we got a little bookshelf behind us. We got a plan. Oh, we can have Paris. We, can, we have Paris behind us. We can have anything we want. And we're in my, so my daughter uh, and her boyfriend got a house over in Yakima. So she moved out. And we moved in. <laughs> we moved in. Yeah. And, well, of, temporary for a bit, but yeah. Pretty nice. I think, uh, I feel good about this. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. You guys have a good fucking uh, week. To our core group of Patreon supporters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you guys for tuning in every week. I'm yeah. glad we can be a part of your your your, your, your little, day. Your That's kind of cool. Your though. little life habits, you know, the yeah. things that keep you happy, that keep you moving. Yeah. And for, doing better for this world. For we sure. need to do better for each other, you know. We need to yeah. build each other up. No, that's true. I actually have a note yeah. in there talking about like that. Yeah. Spread, you know, trying to be positive with others. Be like a free range Portlander, you know, just live your life. Wake up every morning like a lion. And come out of your sleeping bag. Come out bag. of your sleeping bag. Who's like a 
He was like a butterfly, bro. It reminded me of Sleeping Beauty. He was a butterfly. He woke up, one arm like this, the other arm stretched out, and all the birds were chirping around him, and then he ate one of them because he was hungry. (laughs) But it was really not birds. It was mice. It was mice. It was crazy. They all scattered. They came out of the sleeping bag. Yeah, Portland, man. You guys got to go. It actually it was the only city I've ever seen when someone take a shit on the sidewalk. I didn't see any of that, though, this time. Like, I felt I, like you it didn't was... walk past it. We walked past that guy taking a piss. Well, yeah, in the, the corner. guy was peeing, but I mean, that's <laughs> like, like... Bro, he was on the pissing on the corner. Like, yeah, but I'm, you know, never. if you go to a bro, had country, a hog on him, though. No, no I'm just <laughs> he, he got a knee knocker, man. <laughs> no, he, uh, he was a the fine gentleman. Blanca didn't think he was homeless, though. He, she thought he was just a normal dude. Maybe. Nah. Dude, I think we saw a dead guy. I'm pretty sure we saw a dead guy. <laughs> Last story before we go. Yeah, he looked uh, dead. We were walking then through the some of the tall buildings. <laughs> Definitely some fentanyl friends hanging out there. And I mean that with like kindness in my heart. But there were two pretty like dark arts looking like <laughs> master. Uh, yeah, it was like ma- in this dragon masters part. sitting there. And there was a guy with a blanket over him with his feet sticking out. I was like... Just like you would see like on a, a gurney or something. Yeah, like part of me was like, I want to stop and ask, but I'm also kind of freaked out. I want to stop to ask, but I don't. Kind of scared of this scene. Get but, away from me. Yeah. The two day walkers were looking pretty hard at us. I was <laughs> like, ah, <laughs> I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> this is where you get bit and you get transformed. <laughs> and I'm just doing fentanyl for the rest of my life. You know, Can you imagine you get so bit and you I become... had to just let it go, but. Man. Anyway, <laughs> Portland. <crazy>. It's <laughs> it's pretty wild. It's cool. Um, so you guys uh, get out there, do something different this week for all my yeah. teacher friends. Hey, if Two you work days. in my city, three. three days left. Fuck. We got this. Kids. Then we, you know, I want to take those kayaks out soon. Yeah. We didn't go yeah. at all last summer. We got to get our boat out there. <laughs> we we got to get our boat out there boat. for the first, second time. Yeah, we got to get it uh, licensed again. I know how to do the uh, trailer. I have no idea how to do the boat. They sent the paperwork for a trailer. If any of you have a boat and you know how to get the sticker for your boat, please let me know. I think you just go to the office and do the same thing. You have to do it physically? I think so. That's bullshit. All right. Yeah. Guys, we love you. Thank have a you good for one. hanging out with us again this Saturday, Sunday morning. Monday probably for you. Yeah, Take happy, care. happy Monday, Sunday. Yeah. Bye.